In the dawn of the 20th century, a time marked by an unprecedented wave of innovations and a society on the cusp of monumental changes, emerged a figure that would encapsulate the enigmatic allure of an entire era. A living embodiment of both the glitter and the gloom of her time, Evelyn Nesbitt's compelling, albeit somewhat tragic, story paints a vivid tableau of a period brimming with both splendor and shadows. Join Factsverse as we delve into the life and times of Evelyn Nesbitt, a woman whose story epitomizes an era marked by both splendor and scandal. Factsverse presents Evelyn Nesbitt and the tragic affair that ruined her life. From obscurity to the limelight, Evelyn Nesbitt, born December 25, 1884, in Tarentum, Pennsylvania, was destined to leave an enduring mark on American society. As a child, she displayed a natural flair for the arts, a sparkle that later catapulted her to stardom. Her mother, struggling to keep the family afloat, noticed her daughter's abilities and decided to foster them. It wasn't long before they relocated to Philadelphia. While there, her grace and beauty didn't go unnoticed. She started her artistic journey as a model, enchanting painters and sculptors with her ethereal features and expressive eyes. Even at a young age, she exhibited a captivating aura that made her a favorite subject among many artists of the time. Blossoming Fame As Evelyn grew into her teenage years, her family made another pivotal move, this time to New York City, the pulsating heart of culture and entertainment. Evelyn's career took a meteoric ascent. She found herself immersed in a world of glamour, art, and theater. She became a prominent figure in the community, grabbing headlines and catching the eyes of several notable personalities of that time. Her career began to blossom further when she started modeling for famous artists, including Charles Dana Gibson, creator of the iconic Gibson Girl. Her face graced numerous magazines, posters, and advertisements, making her a household name in no time. She was a symbol of youthful beauty and charm that epitomized the era's aesthetic ideals. But with fame comes greater scrutiny. As she navigated her newfound stardom, she became embroiled in a series of scandals that marked a tumultuous phase in her life. From high-profile relationships to being at the center of a murder trial, her life seemed to mirror the sensational stories that graced the covers of the tabloids during that time. Relationships and Notoriety as her star continued to rise, she became a central figure in a swirl of controversy and scandal. Perhaps one of the most significant relationships in her life was with Stanford White, a prominent architect and socialite of that time. This liaison attracted much media attention due to their considerable age difference and White's standing in society. White was known for his opulent lifestyle and penchant for hosting extravagant parties attended by New York City's elite. But underneath the glittering facade lay dark secrets. He had groomed Evelyn since she was very young, and the nature of their relationship bordered on exploitative. The relationship became fodder for the tabloids, which didn't shy away from sensationalizing every detail. As the years went by, she found love once more, this time with Harry K. Thaw, a man known for his volatile nature and connections to the high echelons of society. That relationship, fraught with jealousy and rivalry, would soon culminate in a shocking incident that shook the nation. Thaw, unable to bear the thought of White's past relations with Evelyn, shot him in cold blood, a crime that led to one of the most highly publicized trials of the century, famously known as the Trial of the Century. The Trial of the Century The murder of Stanford White sent shockwaves through society, thrusting Evelyn even further into the limelight. This grisly act, executed at Madison Square Garden's rooftop theater, became the epicenter of public discussion and newspaper headlines. The ensuing trial was nothing short of a media frenzy, with every development making front-page news. Harry K. Thaw's defense team worked tirelessly, painting Evelyn as a young, innocent victim preyed upon by the monstrous white. The courtroom became a stage where tales of decadence, Jealousy and revenge unfolded daily, keeping the audience on the edge of their seats. Thaw's eventual acquittal, on grounds of temporary insanity, stirred heated debates across the nation. Meanwhile, Evelyn found herself caught in a whirlpool of media scrutiny, her every move documented and analyzed. Evelyn's Later Life As the dust settled on the scandalous trial, Evelyn tried to find stability and tranquility in a society that had thoroughly dissected her personal life. 
The following years saw her making a concerted effort to rebuild her life, exploring various avenues to secure her financial and emotional well-being. She ventured into acting, gracing the stages of vaudeville, and eventually making appearances in silent films. She penned her memoirs, chronicling the tumultuous events of her life, in an attempt to reclaim her narrative and present her perspective to the world. Her journey wasn't without hurdles. Relationships proved to be a continual source of anguish, with marriages and affairs adding more chapters to her already storied life. As the years turned into decades, Evelyn gradually withdrew from the public eye, seeking peace and solace in relative obscurity. Her later years were marked by a simple lifestyle, a stark contrast to the whirlwind of drama and sensationalism that once surrounded her. From Nesbitt to Now Evelyn Nesbitt left this world January 17, 1967. She was buried at Holy Cross Cemetery in Culver City, California. Evelyn's perseverance not only embodies her personal journey of resilience, but also pioneers a legacy that has inspired many women over the years to reclaim their narratives amidst scandals and tribulations. The tales of resilience echo in the stories of figures like Britney Spears, who at the peak of her fame faced a series of personal and professional setbacks. Media and the public scrutinized every aspect of her life, often creating a narrative steeped in scandal and speculation. But in recent years, we've witnessed Britney's fight for autonomy and control over her life, drawing support from legions of fans worldwide. Her persistence mirrors Evelyn's in many ways, showcasing a remarkable capacity to rise from the ashes, ready to reclaim her narrative and rebuild her life. Furthermore, music icon Whitney Houston faced years of scandal, media speculation, and personal troubles that overshadowed her incredible talent. Despite the relentless scrutiny, her legacy as a remarkable artist remains untarnished, a reminder of the human capacity to appreciate artistry even amidst personal troubles. Evelyn's journey therefore becomes more than a tale of glamour and tragedy, it morphs into a beacon of hope, a source of inspiration for countless women navigating the turbulent waters of scandal, media scrutiny, and personal strife. Her story serves as a timeless testament to the resilience embedded in the female spirit, a flame that refuses to be extinguished. As we draw parallels between Evelyn's life and the stories of these iconic women, it's evident her legacy lives on, encouraging and empowering women all over. Now it's time to hear from you. Which aspects of Evelyn's story struck a chord with you? Do you see any parallels with the celebrities of today's world? Let us know in the comments section below.